What is up guys, my name is Pocket Craft, and welcome back to the Minecraft Pocket Edition Survival Guide. So in today's episode is all going to be about some water stuff. We're going to talk about how to find buried treasure, how to find shipwrecks, how to find hearts of the sea, and how to make a heart of the sea into a conduit, what a conduit even is, and what you want to do with that. So it's going to be all sorts of little things jam-packed into this episode. It should be really exciting, and it's all in preparation for something cool that we're going to do in the next episode. So now to talk about buried treasure you need to find treasure maps, which will lead to buried treasure, which is where you find hearts of the sea. And so the way to do that is really just look around in the ocean. Shipwrecks are usually the easiest ones to spot. However, I did see another type of structure here just a couple minutes ago. And so I said, I'd wait. There's little ruins like this sometimes. And if you go over to them in the ocean, look in the chest, there's usually some loot. And there's almost always a treasure map. And so what you want to do with this is I'll go up to the surface really quickly here to explain a little better. So a treasure map will lead you to buried treasure and it'll be just like X marks the spot, right? It's like you would expect. And so the way I typically like to do it is do it similar to how we did it in our episode about how to find woodland mansions and stuff. Just put it in your offhand then you put a boat down and it's going to be somewhere around the water. And as you can see, there's that little white dot and it just points towards the X toward marks the spot. So what I would do is just get in your boat and sail towards it. And we're actually really close here, which is awesome. So we might as well just keep it on here. It must be on that island over there. And so you gotta go over towards it and we should get there pretty soon. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit farther than I thought. So I'll bring you guys back when we get there. All right, so we appear to be right on top of it and it's actually like right next to our turtle farm, which is pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'll pick up my boat here. And now there is, if you're on Java, there's a way to kind of like be sneaky and it makes it easier to find where the buried treasure is. Unfortunately, I'm not on Java, so I can't do that. So you kind of just got to start digging around in the sand here and eventually you'll find it, but it can take quite a while. So I'm going to start digging around this spot where the X is and I'll bring you guys back when I find it. Okay, that was actually a lot quicker than I expected. I waited a little while so the rain would come away, but it only took me like two seconds to find it. So here's the chest, open it up. The big thing is the heart of the sea. That's what I'm really caring about and looking for right now. But there's also usually some other cool things. Potion of regeneration, potion of water breathing, some iron, TNT, some iron and chain armor, which I'm probably not going to grab. So I'll just leave that there. But that's one right there. But I want to go around and see uh, if we can find quite a few of these today. At least more than one. And I want to find a shipwreck. And we briefly found one in my video about the ocean monument. We found a shipwreck. But I'm going to try and find another one. And so honestly, the easiest way to find a shipwreck, well, the easiest way is you can use a site called Chunk Base, which we have used a couple times actually already in this series. However, um, I don't think I'm going to do that today. I'd rather do it kind of the au natural, not using it, uh, Chunk Base. And so pretty much the only way to do it. Also, there's some glow squid, which is awesome. I haven't actually paid any attention to those because I just barely got into 1.17 in this, which I know is pretty crazy, but this video was filmed um july of 2021 and so 1.17 actually just barely came out but i'm gonna use this because i haven't gotten any glow squid ink yet which is a super cool thing to use um oh also tip if you follow dolphins and you can feed them fish they will lead you to buried treasure and so we could do that but right now i'm actually just gonna get into my boat and i'm gonna sail around and see if i can look for a shipwreck and that's honestly one of the best ways to do it just go around and just look at the sea floor See if you find anything that looks like a shipwreck, and it really doesn't actually take that long, usually. And so I'm going to do that, and I'll bring you guys back once I find one. All right, I found a shipwreck, but they're a little bit more rare than I had remembered. So I think I would suggest, I mean, you could just go around looking, and you'll find some eventually, but I think it would be a much wiser idea if you use Chunk Base. And so Chunk Base, just look it up on the internet or on your phone or whatever, chunkbase.com, and go to Apps, and then go to Shipwreck Finder. And you should be able to find them pretty easily. The exact coordinates you can use your elytra or a boat to get over. But this is what a shipwreck looks like more or less. There's a couple of different designs. Sometimes they're more full and sometimes they're less full. And now there's usually at least like two rooms with chests in them. Oh, and this is where you can find moss blocks. This is the first time I've actually gotten moss blocks in this series. So you can get moss blocks in here. Um, suspicious stew is always fun. So I'm actually going to take some of that. And then raw poison potatoes we don't really want. Gunpowder is nice, but we got a farm for that. So I'm not going to waste my inventory with it right now. Let's see here. Unfortunately, doors don't make air pockets in Bedrock. Uh, so I'm going to pop up from it for air really quickly. You may want to bring a water potion of water breathing with you if you don't have good um, aqua, not aqua, if any respiration or anything, because it can be 
a little bit of a challenge when you're down here for a while. And so I think there should be at least one other chest. I just got to figure out where it is on this one. I'm wondering if we got unlucky because there's usually always two chests and there's one with a treasure map in it, which is where you can get the heart of the sea. But I don't see a second chest. So I'm actually going to start digging around a little bit, I think. And something's hitting me. We'll just get rid of him real quick. But I'm going to cut around inside here. Maybe there's something I'm missing with generation. Sometimes they can go a little bit weird, but... I think we should have encountered the other chest by now, so that's not great. I'm going to be a little bit bummed, and so we may have to go find another shipwreck here really quickly. And so I think we'll go for another shipwreck so I can see if I can find one more Heart of the Sea. I mean, I really only need one, but I'd like to find another one for you guys and to show you what a shipwreck should be like. So I'm going to go find one more shipwreck, and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, I found us another one. This one is much more complete, too, which is a good sign that we should hopefully be able to find both chests this time. Uh, there doesn't appear to be one over here. Let's look over here. There's one right here. This one just has feathers in it, which I've never seen one with such bad loot. Um, I wonder if they only have one chest now. Maybe there's one up here, actually. I bet that's where it is. Let's go through in here. I swear these used to have two chests, and they used to have Heart of the Sea. Oh, there's an axolotl, though, which I really want one of those. So I'm going to capture him real quick. I have a video about how to find and capture axolotls if you haven't seen that. Oh, there's another one right there. Do I have enough iron to make a bucket? I can't believe I do. This is the first time I've actually gotten axolotls in this series. And I'm very excited because I'm going to use these two right here. And I can use them to breed up and get more axolotls. So let's capture this guy right here. And now I can have a little axolotl farm. So that's awesome. I'm excited about that. However, I did not find the heart of the sea, and I'm starting to drown. So, I mean, not heart of the sea, treasure map. So I am starting to wonder if they don't have these in shipwrecks anymore. I swear they do, though. And so I'm wondering if I'm just getting unlucky and they've started to be more rare as there's more things that can be in here. We already have one treasure map with heart and then found the heart of the sea, so we should be fine. But the last, when I went to a treasure map, not a treasure map, excuse me, a shipwreck, and after we saw the ocean monument, there was a heart of the sea, I mean, a treasure map in there. And I don't think I ever actually went to the heart of the sea in there, so I'll have to do that. But um, that was in 1.16, not 1.17. So I'm not entirely sure. But honestly, I just want to show you guys these work. I'm pretty sure you can find them in here. Actually, I'm positive you can still find treasure maps in there. They just might be a little bit more rare. And so I'll check one more to see if there's a treasure map in there, and then we'll get started on a conduit. But I'll be quicker on that one. I'll only show you if there's anything important there. All right, here's the last one we're going to check here. And this one actually looks really cool. It's probably one of the most complete ones I've seen. It even has masks and stuff, so it's actually pretty cool. Um, whoa, and there's an upstairs. What? I've never seen that. This is cool. I'd almost want to make a base out of this. But let's see where the chest is. There's one over here. Oh, whoa, okay, we got a bottle of enchanting, some lapis, some gold, a lot of iron and iron ingots, which is cool. And then I think on one this size, I bet you there's another one. There's probably one down here. Uh, let's open up some of these so I can fall down. And it looks, I bet it's through this door here. Oopsies. So we come through here. There's a chest here. Paper, but treasure map. Awesome, finally. Okay. So we're going to follow this treasure map, and we're going to find one more Heart of the Sea, and then I'll get back to um, home base, or close to the home base, actually, and we're going to make ourselves a conduit. So I'm going to follow this map to where it goes, and I will be back in just a second, which is actually, we're already on the map, which is awesome. So I'll bring you guys back when I find it, because it might take me a while to dig it out. All right, this one took a lot more digging out to find, but I finally found it, and it's a pretty good one. So there's a Heart of the Sea in here. And there's also two diamonds and then some armor, but I don't really care about the armor. And so trying to decide here, I guess we heard of some dirt for the diamonds. And I actually would probably prefer to take my crafting table with me. So I think I'll just get rid of gravel. Oh, actually, no, I didn't realize I took this. That must have been there already. I accidentally broke the chest, so I recreated it for you guys so I could show you what it looked like. But that's all we really need. And so I'm going to take these two hearts of the sea. I'm going to go back to um not home base but the place where i have an idea of something fun that i'm gonna build and then i'll show you guys how to make a conduit and a couple other things all right i actually had a little bit of an issue there so i had already made this part of the video but i looked back during editing and realized that for some reason 
my voice wasn't there. And so I'm redoing it here really quickly. And so unfortunately I already made a conduit, but I'll just tell you how it works now. What you need is the heart of the sea and then we can look it up right now just so I can show you, but it's the heart of the sea and then eight Nautilus shells. And Nautilus shells you can get from killing drowned or you can also get them from fishing. And so those are the two best ways to get it. But the conduit by itself doesn't really do much. You need to power it. And it's powered using prismarine blocks, any of the three prismarine blocks, and sea lanterns as well, I believe. And a conduit provides a whole lot of benefits, such as I think it lets you, it lets you breathe underwater. It lets off a lot of light. Um, I think it repels mobs. It does a lot of cool stuff. So we're going to make one down here right now because I do want to make an underwater base over here at some point. And so it only needs 16 prismarine blocks to start working i believe but i think it maxes out at 42 i think it is so i'm going to show you a really simple design right now that works there are other ones that work as well but i'm just going to show you a simple one what we need to start with is a little bit of a plus symbol here and so i will build that and it's not a whole tricky one at all oops we don't need this now theoretically you could just encase it in prismarine blocks uh this is probably a little bit more efficient and it's just a fun looking design but you can do it however you want as long as you have the 42 blocks and the circle it's fine and then an important thing is the uh, conduit needs to be surrounded by water on all sides so how i like to do it is i put a block there and then i put a block here and then break the block under the conduit that way the conduit's floating otherwise this wouldn't work then what we need to do is build up one block on each side and we have that working just like that. And then what we want to do is we're going to want a ring of dark prismarine coming around here. And so we'll bring this around to add more power to our conduit here. So make it that it goes around farther. And so I think this should be repelling mobs. Maybe it isn't because these guys are already locked on to me. Or maybe that doesn't happen until it's fully powered. I don't know exactly how it works this is actually my first time using one, but I've seen lots about them. Never really had the need to use one before, but I have a fun idea for it. Plus, we're in the Survival Guide series, so I kind of got to go through everything. So we got another one right there, and then we can finish this off with a little bit of a um, thing like this. Now, I don't know if this is the exactly perfect design. We might actually be one block too high. We are, in fact. Okay. I knew I made a mistake. So sorry about that. We don't want these blocks right here. So just move everything down a block. So I'm going to fix that really quick, move this all down a block, and then I'll bring you guys back once that's finished. Okay. So we started fixing it now. Uh, that block doesn't need to be there, obviously. But the ring goes right here, I believe. And then what we do is we do an encasement like this. And so I think this is the design that I'm going for. Um, I guess I really didn't need to correct it because it really isn't that important because you really just need 42 blocks and then it's at max power. That's all you really need to know. But we will do it like this anyways. And I think this is what it looks like at max power. So I think we did that right. But I'll show you really quickly. It actually covers a really large amount of space. And so the conduit power goes all the way over to... Holy cow, this goes even farther than I thought. Let's see when the conduit starts to kind of slow down. All right, there we go. It goes all the way to here. So the conduit's way, way over there, and the power goes over to here. And so we'll get back in range here really quickly. Okay, maybe it was a little bit. There we go. So this is the edge right here. So that is still really, really far. So that's awesome. And it allows you to see perfectly. You can breathe underwater. And I do believe it repels mobs, but I don't know exactly how that works. So I'm going to have to grab these from over here that I dropped. But this is really awesome. I have plans to build a cool underwater base around here that I think I'd like to do. And so we're going to use conduits in that. I think it'll be fun. I'm not entirely sure when that episode will be coming out that I do that. But I'm excited to get started on it. But I think that's going to be it for today's episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it because I definitely did. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll catch you all in that next video.